10 Signs That Your Kidneys Need Help Kidneys are our body's filters. When they don't function well, toxins will build up, causing major issues. Sadly, more than 37 million Americans suffer from kidney disease, and only 10% of the people living with chronic kidney disease know they have it. This is partly because some of the earliest signs of kidney disease can be attributed to other conditions. The most severe symptoms appear in the relatively advanced stages. But a wise man once said that, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So in this video, we will cover 10 signs that your kidneys need help and nine ways to prevent any issues early on. Before we proceed, please note that everything mentioned in this video is unbiased, fact-checked, and reviewed by qualified health professionals. With that said, let's jump in and talk about 10 signs that your kidneys need help Number 1. Fatigue Kidneys filter all the toxins in our body, so when they're not functioning properly, a lot of impurities can form in our blood. This can make us feel tired, weak, dizzy, and unable to focus. Moreover, healthy kidneys produce erythropoietin, which is a hormone that contributes to the creation of red blood cells in the body. Red blood cells carry oxygen throughout our bodies. The less red blood cells we have, the more tired and fragile we will feel. This is where anemia kicks in. Number 2. Feeling cold even if it's warm in the room Kidney disease can lead to anemia, and anemia will make you get the chills, even if all the other people in the room are feeling warm. This is a sign of kidney disease that can very easily go unnoticed, or simply be attributed to anemia without checking the underlying cause. So make sure you get your kidneys checked as well if you always get the chills in a warm room. Number three, shortness of breath. Being short of breath is usually attributed to heart or lung diseases. However, breathlessness can also be caused by kidney disease. The extra fluids and toxins in our body that our kidneys cannot filter can build up in the lungs, causing shortness of breath. Moreover, the low number of red blood cells and anemia can also starve your body of oxygen. In some severe cases, lying down can make you feel like drowning. This is when you have to go see a doctor immediately. Liking our video so far? Before we move on to the next food, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on our new informative videos. Number 4. Dry and Itchy Skin Besides filtering the toxins in our body and helping create red blood cells, our kidneys also help maintain the proper amount of bone minerals. Therefore, dry and itchy skin can be a sign of failing kidneys that can no longer keep the mineral balance in your body. Moreover, the accumulation of toxins in our bloodstream can cause skin reactions of all sorts, so don't ignore these signs. Number 5. Swollen Ankles, Feet, or Hands Kidneys not working properly will cause a lot of fluid to build up in the body. Moreover, when your kidneys are failing, a lot of sodium will accumulate. All these will lead to swollen legs, ankles, feet, or hands. However, the swelling of the extremities can also be a sign of liver, heart, or chronic vein diseases. This is why sometimes people ignore swollen feet or hands. Number 6. Feeling puffy around your eyes. When your damaged kidneys let protein leak into the urine, you can also experience a puffiness around your eyes and face. So, not only your feet, ankles, or hands will be swollen, but also your face. These symptoms can also signal other disorders as well. So it's better to go to a doctor to see what the problem is. Number seven, bad breath and metal taste. People suffering from kidney disease may complain that food tastes like metal. They might also have a foul breath at all times. Moreover, people with this symptom might also have a low appetite. All these are caused by an accumulation of toxins in your blood called uremia. Bad breath can be followed by nausea and vomiting. Even thinking about food can make you sick. Don't wait too long. At this stage, you need to see a doctor. Number 8. Urination Issues Kidneys help us with our urine production. 
frequent urination followed by pain or burning sensations is a problem. Moreover, if you notice a decrease in the amount of urine, that can also signal a kidney problem. If you get up in the middle of the night to go pee often, that can also be a symptom of kidney failure. So go see a doctor immediately. Number nine, foamy or bloody urine. Blood in urine, also known as hematuria, can be a sign of kidney infections, tumors, or kidney stones, or kidney failure. When the kidneys are not functioning properly, blood can get in the urine. This will cause the urine to turn brown, red, or purple. Women might ignore these symptoms and associate it with a late period, but it's not. Foamy urine is not good either. Discolored urine with bubbles or white foam can indicate a vast amount of protein in the urine. This foam looks much like the foam you see when making scrambled eggs, as it is actually albumin, the same protein found in eggs. Number 10, trouble sleeping. When kidneys are failing, they are not filtering properly, so the toxins stay in your bloodstream, wreaking all sorts of chaos in the body. This will make it difficult to sleep and get proper rest. It can also cause sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is a sleep disorder that causes you to stop and start breathing during sleep. This can cause you to snore badly and, in some cases, it can even be obstructive. Sleep apnea is very common in people suffering from chronic kidney disease. Now that we've gone through all the major signs of kidney disease, let's look at nine ways to prevent kidney disease in the first place. How to keep your kidneys healthy. Number one, proper hydration. As you might have guessed, the first step to prevent kidney disease is to hydrate properly. So drink between four and six glasses of water a day to help your kidneys function properly. Overdoing it won't help as studies have confirmed overhydration has no real benefit on your kidneys. Number two, be careful with medication. Non-steroidal and anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen and naproxen can damage your kidneys if you're overdoing them. Other types of medication such as proton pump inhibitors, PPI, taken for long periods of time can make you more prone to kidney disease. So take medication in moderation and only when you absolutely need to. Number three, stay active and fit. Regular exercise is key to a healthy life. It is good for your waistline, your heart, your brain, your lungs, and your kidneys as well. Regular exercise helps you keep an optimal blood pressure for healthy kidneys. Run, cycle, swim, or go for a walk every day and you will reap the benefits in the long term. There's no excuse for not staying active. You've got time to exercise. There are countless activities that you can easily add to your busy schedule. Do it for your kidneys, for your happiness, for yourself. Number four, eat healthy foods. Studies have pointed out that kidney problems can be correlated with other medical conditions and triggered by high blood pressure, diabetes, or cardiovascular diseases. All these afflictions usually appear in time caused by a poor diet and lack of exercise. So if you want to prevent kidney disease, make sure you follow a healthy nutrition plan. It's not boring, it can be delicious, and it's definitely good for your body. After all, food is the best medicine of all. Number five, take antibiotics only when you need to. Antibiotics are another class of medications that can have serious effects on your kidneys. They are strong drugs, able to kick bacteria right out of your body. However, not without leaving some traces behind. Antibiotics have lots of toxins and your kidneys will go in overdrive mode to try and cleanse these toxic effects. If your kidneys are perfectly healthy, antibiotics won't cause much of a problem. However, if you have problems with kidneys, make sure you discuss with a doctor before you take penicillin, sulfonamides, or other such antibiotics. Number six, keep your blood sugar in check. People with high blood sugar levels or diabetes can also develop kidney problems. This is because the sugar in the blood can damage the nephrons and blood vessels in the kidneys, so they won't work as they should. People suffering from diabetes have to be extra cautious when it comes to their kidney health. However, if you can spot the damage early on by having regular checks at the doctor, you can prevent additional damage. Number seven, avoid using too many supplements. 
As you have seen, medication is not good for your kidneys. Neither are vitamins and other herbal extracts, protein bars, shakes, and so on. Your kidneys might have to put in some extra effort to filter out the waste from these compounds. So don't overdo it when it comes to these supplements, or talk to your doctor first. He might be able to read the ingredients in all these supplements and let you know if there are any risks for your kidneys. However, as a general rule, avoid ingesting too many supplements. Number 8. Avoid smoking and drinking too much It's no secret that smoking and heavy drinking can have serious effects on your body in the long term. So, try to quit smoking and limit the amount of alcohol you drink in general. Heavy drinking and smoking will raise your blood pressure levels and thus damage your kidneys in the long term. High blood pressure will constrict the narrow blood vessels in your kidneys, which in time will weaken them. Number 9. Test your kidney function regularly if you're at risk. If you are over 60 years old, born with a low birth weight, or have a family history of cardiovascular disease, you should test your kidney function regularly. It's the best way to prevent any further complications. Regular screening is also recommended for people with high blood pressure or a family history of such issues. People dealing with obesity should also get a regular kidney screening. Better to prevent than to treat. So take care of your body, have an active lifestyle, and keep your kidneys in good condition. They're crucial for your overall health. Watch out for any of the 10 signs that your kidney might need help presented above. But more than that, make sure you follow the nine ways of preventing kidney disease. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. Thanks for watching. Your wellness is our mission.